Hello, Suga. Welcome to the Real Talk Podcast. This is a super special episode with Serenity in the new Sugar Beauty Bar location. Hey, how are you? So wonderful. I'm so excited that we're continuing this series from the sugaring table. Yes, yes. In our new location. <laughs> in my new room. <laughs> yes. So to recap from our last Real Talk with Sugared Beauty Bar, what has happened in the past couple months? Um, so I found a new location. Um, I actually found this spot before I even knew I was going to be moving here. I already knew that I needed to be here. Um, and we officially moved the studio into Roslyn last Monday on my birthday, November the 2nd. And um, yeah, I took this from my guest bedroom to a storefront uh, in about four weeks. That was literally how long they took to build the space. And uh, yeah, we're just, we're just grooving. We're just here. So groovy. I mean, everything about it, the energy when you walk in is just so magnificent and I'm just still in shock that you designed everything yourself. (laughs) Well, my original interior designer literally bailed on me uh, the morning that we were supposed to get together and I was supposed to show her around and I'm like, all right, I guess I got to do this myself. And Mm -hmm. I'm actually really happy that I did because so much awesome feedback from people saying like, girl, how did you do this? And I really don't know. (laughs) A lot of Pinteresting scrolling. But also, I remember you sharing about when you were shopping, you kind of just eyeballed a lot of the items that came in here. Can you speak a little bit to that process? <laughs> um, I, it's a really weird thing that I've been doing for a really long time. Um, I'm a huge thrifter, so eyeballing is like a part of my like thrifting experience. I will look at something and know whether I'm going to fit into it. I'll look at something and know whether I can pair it up with a purse or a pair of shoes. And I'm always looking for like really cool patterns and things that are like asymmetry. asymmetry? I can't even say the word. Asymmetrical? Asymmetrical. That's the word. Um, Just so that things are a little bit different instead of like partnering things as like a pair. It's like I just want it to complement each other. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like my vision with the space was like, all right, how can I maximize the whole space? have it look minimal, but also feel like cozy, like it's somebody's home. Um, So we transferred the space for the reception area, I'm using air quotes here, um, into our living room because I want people to feel like they're coming to their girlfriend's house to get sugared, slash Reiki, slash, you know, all the other things that we're going to be offering here, which we're going to tell you more about. Um, But the eyeballing just, I was like, all right, this is just going to have to work. And I feel like a lot of it is just trusting that Whatever I'm selecting, I was supposed to select, and it's supposed to be here. And trusting that energy just helps me to eyeball that much better. Wow. (laughs) And I feel as though that trust and eyeballing it is very much intuitive. And you're just trusting your gut that, you know, based on the measurements with your (laughs) eyes and what you're seeing, that it will fit in the space. Yeah. That's literally how it's all worked out. Like that includes the colors. Like I did not put anything down on paper. I literally went to a store and said, I need to get this. This is going to work. I don't even think I looked, my husband's going to kill me. I don't even think I looked at price tags. I was like, I need this. So I'm going to buy it and I'm going to put it in my studio. (laughs) And that probably attests to my privilege because a lot of people don't have those types of options. Um, But I did use that to my advantage in also creating the space. I was like, all right, this is going to look good. I'm going to grab it. It's going to work. And I kind of just went with those gut feelings. That's amazing. And although it's such a blessing that you're fortunate enough to eyeball in that way, it really is part of the energy that's here. And I know that you'll be making your investment back in no time. Yes, absolutely. Like... Our community is so strong and so beautiful. And like women come here and they're like, spend my money. (laughs) Here's all my money. Please love to support. So it's been, it's been really cool just being able to communicate and like expand the conversation with my clients into a bigger space. Um, Have you, you know, starting your Reiki sessions and the sound healing and just creating a like center for 
for health, a center for wellness, a center for calmness, a center for all the emotions that you're feeling and know that you're in a super safe space. So beautiful. And that feeling of safety is absolutely here. And just in the first two weeks, it's crazy to believe how fast it's, it's flying by, but you know what they say when you're having fun. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Flying by, absolutely flying by. And right now the sugar is flying as she's flicking it from my underarms. I'm so impressed with her techniques. It's very amazing. It's all good. You don't have much going on under here. (laughs) So the underarm services are great and part of the perks for locals if they want to try sugaring for the first time. Yeah, so I started offering complimentary underarm sugaring. Um, It was actually obviously inspired by European wax because that is something that they do to get people in the door. And I feel like with sugaring in itself, this is not a mainstream, you know, industry. There's a lot of sugaring going on, but not a lot of people know about sugaring. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of people's books are really full because they built up their clientele and then that's it. You know, finding another sugarist is really hard. Training another person to do this job is really hard. Um, So being able to offer something that is of no obligation to the person, it's just strictly there for them to come and check out what it is that we do, um, has really helped me to kind of like scale the business, you know, offering a lower price point so that people can try it when they come in for their Brazilians and also the complimentary service with the underarms just makes it that much more like, okay, like I don't, I can try this and I don't have to do anything. Like I don't have to, there's no obligation. There's no, there's nothing holding you back except for the fact that you have to grow your underwear arms out a little longer than you want to so that I can actually stick to it and flick off. And now that we're coming into the colder months, that's so, so much easy. easy to do. So if you're feeling done with shaving your underarms, now is the time. Yeah. And I mean, so many of my clients went from shaving to waxing or from shaving to sugaring. And you can see the difference. Like the hair does grow back a lot finer. Um, I have some of my clients who don't come in every who only come in every month just to get their underarms done, whereas they were shaving every day, every other day, three times a week, five times a week. Um, and it's, it really shows like the sugar is so much more superior to wax and to definitely to the shaving. Absolutely. And because it's water soluble, you're really getting into the root. And I think that was something that was so challenging for me personally with other forms of hair removal. Yeah, I mean, with wax, there's you always have to allow for some breakage. We're ripping hairs um, with wax against the grain as opposed to with the grain. Um, and like you're mentioning, the sugar paste is water soluble, so it actually has the ability to seep into your hair follicle, wrap itself around your hair, and I use that flicking motion to remove it. So it's, it's either I remove it from the root or it's there. And if it's there, I choose it. So you're always, always going to get like the most superior hair removal service with, with the sugaring. And of course it's exfoliating. So you get that smooth baby like skin that everybody loves after a wax, but it lasts way longer. Mm, Absolutely. And I'm so glad because believe it or not, since the last podcast (laughs) was when I had my last treatment. So it was only appropriate to record another podcast today for our cleanup in the new studio in Roslyn. It's just such a beautiful space. She has her green accent wall, which really just ties it all together. Yes. I love it. Same, same. So with No Shave November, we invite you to stop shaving, throw out your razors, and come in for your complimentary underarm service. (laughs) <laughs> yes, at any time. Or you can wait till December. You know, you've got a couple of weeks to, to grow this, to grow your brush out, um, either one, and uh, <laughs> try some sugaring because it will never let you down. Mm-hmm. So what's your favorite thing about sugaring? Um, I think one of the reasons why I really love sugar sugaring is because it's completely natural. It's completely organic. But I think since I started learning to sugar, my favorite part of it is molding the paste into your hair. Like I can feel the work that I'm doing. I can feel the work that the sugar paste is doing. Whereas with wax, you kind of lay the strip and if it's hard wax, you're like waiting for it to cool down and then you just pull, you just rip off and there's 
not a lot of connection because I didn't really put my love into it, you know? Sugaring feels like an art form. Um, that whole flicking motion that you have to use to remove that strip, your, your body's really doing a lot of work to kind of do that job um, and do it correctly and do it without hurting somebody. So I feel like it's, it's such an art. Like you're, my client's like looking at it too, you know? It's this crystal ball that they get to see at the start and then they see how much of the buildup and how much of their dead skin and their dead hair is left back in that ball of sugar. Um, and they're like surprised. They're like, wow, okay, like I understand why I need to exfoliate. Mm -hmm. I understand why I need to, you know, take care of my skin because this is what all the dead stuff looks like, you know? And of course, the more you come in the beginning, the less I see you towards the end. So it's, it's like a love-hate relationship. I love being able to see my clients every four weeks, but with sugaring, I don't have to see you every four weeks. Like we are able to stretch your appointments out. One of my girls comes in every nine weeks. Like she's, and her hairs are not growing in, in the same rate, the same pace that they were when she was waxing. So it's, it's really cool. And that's, that's another reason why I'm like, okay, I need to host workshops because I'm not going to see these people for, for four and you know, within four weeks, like it's going to be stretched out longer. At least I can see them for something else. So really excited about bringing those things on board too. I love it. And I feel like the molding process is so metaphorical too, because it's like you're, building and molding that connection is right. that's so deep I'm yeah. like really feeling it yeah yeah it really it really is and I didn't like acknowledge that as a client it only started I only started feeling that way as the person as the sugarist as the person like doing the hair removal but coming from a background where I did wax and I was waxing people um I worked at European Wax for over a year and it's it's just so beautiful seeing the difference in people's hairs, you know, like I've been seeing my clients for like nine, 10, 12 sessions and they make that conversion into sugaring and they're like, wow, this is beautiful. Like they're excited to come back in for their services because of the vibe here. Uh -huh. um, and because of how they feel about their hair, you know, like I'm educating them on their products and on their skin and showing them how they can, you know, tweak things here and there so that they can, feel better about, you know, and feel more confident about their skin. So those, those are all the wonderful things that I love about my job and just so much therapy happens in this room. <laughs> I love it. And even though the time between your clients is spreading out, I love that you're really setting people up for success and self care in between sessions. So making that skincare routine very much like a spa at home right. because when we have that mindset, when we have the tools of an exfoliating, you know, brush, brush and just everything to really be present with our bodies and really have that preventative maintenance is just beautiful because we're really changing the conversation with ourselves. Right. Right. And it's not a matter of like, it's not a matter of people feel like I'm going to come and make them feel beautiful. You know, and I hate that concept. I don't like the idea that now you're beautiful because your hair is gone. You're beautiful regardless of what's mm -hmm. going on. And I think we talked about this on the last podcast. Um, but that's what I keep trying to instill in my clients and my tribe. Like, this is not about me making you feel small, flawless and sexy and smooth. Because, like, you're, you're flawless, you're sexy, you're smooth even when you're hairy, you know? And, like, you have to feel that and embody that. And I love that my clients are... are less of them are coming in and apologizing for having their body hair. You know, like even a girl today, she was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't trim. And I was like, girl, like I'm in the hair business. Like don't apologize for coming in looking like we need the national forest, you know, like that's okay with me. Like I'm cool with that. And then I tell them stories about, you know, my hairy, you know, lifestyle and how I choose to be. Um, and as much as I remove hair for a living, I really don't remove my own body hair, you know? And I think that that also speaks volumes of like, this is not about a beauty industry. This is a personal choice. And if you're going to make that choice, let's do it in a healthy way. Let's have an organic version of that so that you don't feel guilty about doing it, you know? And sometimes it's a little spicy. That's what I like to use the word instead of pain. Um, and so you'll feel that spice, but you're feeling it because you know everything's coming out from the root. Mm. And when it does and then it's over, there's no lingering pain. That was another thing a lot of my clients have been talking to me about where they like put their underwear back on and they're like feeling like tender from their waxing services. And I don't know what that feels like because I've never waxed my Brazilian area. I've only ever sugared it. But I can only imagine what it's like walking out of here 
and pain, you know, like having tenderness and going back to your job or trying to go home or carrying on the rest of your day. Some of my clients are coming at like eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning before their shift starts. And they don't have that tenderness with sugar in. Like that is like, like being able to provide that type of service where they can literally get up and go and like don't even have to think that they were here you know like it's over obviously they remember me but they don't have to think about the pain that they were in during their service so it's it's really cool that's so beautiful and I love how deeply rooted this conversation is literally (laughs) and just thinking about the symbolism of when you're removing the root cause of something how initially that hurts Right. to address that and then once you remove the root challenge it's gone yeah. you're good yeah. keep it going <laughs> and I know that especially in all of this unfolding we've been identifying the root challenges that we've been facing in all elements so once we really connect with that root like from the root we're not just ripping the top and leaving the root it's like no no we're getting to the root yeah. going with the grain going with the natural flow and removing that if you imagine that root as the core challenges we face emotionally yeah. or energetically what is the root challenge blocking you from your energy flow and how can you go with your natural grain and remove that oh you're flourishing. Yeah. Like, that's amazing. And yeah. I know that was a very energetically spoken sentence. However, if that did resonate with you, that's part of what we're addressing in Reiki. And I do feel the full connection right here, right now. Because when you do have a pain or a stagnation or blockage, we need to address the root cause. Like, you might have a pain in one part of your body but it actually is caused from another part of your body right so until we address that root pain that root challenge and go with your natural flow of flicking it off yeah. and making it happen then you can flow and flourish and that pain's gone yeah yeah exactly it, it really does come back full circle i love the metaphors that you're using in regards to like removing you know removing from the root and like letting go and like breathing deeply into whatever is challenging you and it it sounds so heavy but it's so simple if you think about it on that surface level you know and if we can make that connection between hair removal and your actual life um because these sessions really are really intimate you know you're getting half naked for a complete stranger most of the time and you want to know that you can trust this person and you can relate to this person and this person has your best heart and your best interest at heart And that's why I feel like my community is so strong because they feel that like I'm here and like I was talking with a client yesterday and uh, she came in and she was like, you know, I was having a really stressful morning and when I walked in here, I just felt so calm and I'm like, this is where you belong. You know, this is home. Like I want you to always feel that way when you walk in here. And when we started the session, I was telling her, you know, tip tricks that I was using, which is including yoga. And I'm literally like, I got my sugar paste and I'm like getting into a deep yoga pose so I can show her how cool I am. And she's like, oh my God, I want to be able to do that. And I'm like, girl, here's the link, sign up, please start taking care of your health, you know? And it's conversations like that that are just completely organic, literally like my sugar paste, that help people kind of feel connected to a bigger like a bigger thing that they're coming to, you know, like it's not just sugaring. It's, it's a tribe. It's a community. It's a, it's a wholesome place where you can literally get information and resources and be educated on how to do better for you in whatever area you are, whatever walk of life you come from. Wow. So I'm just blown away and our sugar tribe is so real. It's so sweet and spicy and this is just the beginning of many conversations so congratulations serenity for your beautiful studio in roslyn we are officially updated on google maps and instagram maps (laughs) everything is up to date and i'm so grateful we now have this second episode of our series in the new studio there is so much more to come and i'm so grateful for the time and space to be embarking on this really critical conversation yeah i love it thank you so much for for being here thank you for being a part of my team i really would not 
be where I am right now without all of your love and support. So I really, really appreciate it. So much love. I'm so grateful. And just a reminder, this is a real talk conversation, completely unedited and unfiltered because we're that organic. (laughs) Talk to you soon.